was kind in that way that people have suffered so much in their short lives were. I know there were several tragedies he had hidden inside him, lurking behind him in his not-so-distant past. Still, he carried on, as we all must do, in spite of our pain and misery. Spite was one of the reasons I was still alive. I spent most of my twenties realizing how odd my own style of speech was and how much I did not fit into the world which I was born into. But what did I truly have to complain of? My parents loved me, and I had my own mind, even if it was at times hilariously broken, opting to betray me whenever it decided to quit. It isn't any trouble, Daisy. I had a feeling I'd be seeing you soon anyway. He, s he says this with that cryptic, almost Mona Lisa smile he sometimes liked to serve people. Usually he'd try it on the women he read for. Over 90% of his clients were women and girls. No surprise there. I never really heard of many men being big into tarot cards. Cody was the only guy I knew who liked tarot cards, felt really connected to them on a spiritual level. I'm not sure if it was cultural for him or not. He did say that he learned some divining techniques from his grandmother. Onyx said they'd never cross Cody's bunica. She was old country Roma. As a young woman, she somehow managed to escape from communist Romania. With her, she brought all that she knew of her people's customs. Bunica Luminaria, their last name was Cody's mother's family's name, was not afraid of much. Cody got me into tarot. He never made fun of me for being interested either. I can tell you believe in it. That's all I care about, that it's not a joke to you. He had a fire burning in his eyes then. I wouldn't hurt him by making light of such an important thing to him. Still, sometimes I was an idiot and I laughed at things when I shouldn't. But I think he sometimes did that too. What I'm saying is he silently understood my ass-backwards loud personality and, and didn't fry me for it. People are sometimes clumsy, uncareful, and, and not with any malice or spite. We are just unfortunately built that way. I'm one of those people, and ever since Germany and my psychotic break, I have been that woman far more often than I would have liked. Medication and therapy helped, but it didn't solve all of it. I had to do a lot of work on myself. It was a large part of who I was, and I had to hide it in order to get any respect at all. If people knew I had bipolar disorder, they act like I walked hand in hand with the devil. Cody didn't know, but his eyes told me that he still sensed that something had majorly changed for me since we last met.